What up guys, I'm back here, and in this video I'll be talking about Support Gragas. Yes, I will be talking about the drunk that everyone either loves or hates. You may have noticed that I wasn't too fond of Gragas. So let me make things clear before I head into the subject itself. As I've explained in the past, sometimes I go for this sort of sarcastic tone in my videos. I may even bash champions or even topics every now and then, but you should know that when I do that, it doesn't always mean that I think I'm 100% correct and that the subject itself is dumb or anything of the sort. It's a way that I have of not sounding like the same boring ass YouTuber every single freaking video. So once again, I would like to point out that what I provide is food for thought. I want you guys to think for yourselves. I want you guys to discuss things with other people, whether it's in the comment section, Facebook, whatever. Being able to analyze games in League or any other game for that matter is absolutely key when you're trying to improve. Yes, I will shut my trap about that now. As for Support Gragas, I still somewhat stand by my previous opinion. He is a jack of all trades and master of none. As soon as I saw the patch notes from like two patches ago, I knew he had what it took to be played as a support. However, I couldn't really get him to work because I was playing him in this very specific way, a way that I thought would be the best to maximize his potential. I was playing him as a poke based support alone, because it's what his kid told me he would be best at. With that being said, a few of you pointed out that you still thought he could be good. Specifically speaking, Manohaxer, who you guys may know, and I also managed to have a really short chat with Valkyrie about the subject. We were actually thinking about doing a collab video on the matter, but unfortunately, we don't really have flexible schedules, and with the time differences, making a collab video on the subject before All Stars proved rather difficult, but maybe we can do that in the near future about something else, if you like. Anyway, I watched Valkyrie's videos, and I noticed the playstyle I was going for wasn't the best for support Gragas. Valkyrie played a much more aggressive playstyle, something that would resemble a kill lane until he reached level 3, and then again after level 6. So I gave Gragas another shot, and I absolutely loved it. Gragas is indeed a jack of all trades and master of none. He's not as good for going all in as Leona, he's not as good in poke wars as a Lulu or a Karma. Still, it doesn't mean he's bad. He's actually pretty freaking versatile, and he just becomes this beast after level 6 that you just need to respect. I found that you have a really high kill potential as soon as you hit level 2. You can easily burn flashes or even get kills if you play correctly, and especially if you manage to level up sooner than your opponent. However, when matched with a weak early game AD carry, I do think he sort of struggles until he reaches level 6, if he doesn't get that advantage early on. And by struggle, I mean he doesn't do as well as a Thrash Leon or a Karma. Still, by no means is he weak during that stage of the game. He's also hard to gank, he can roam easily, and he can set up kills like few supports can. It is also really damn satisfying to deny the enemy AD the chance to click the lantern just by ulting him away from it, I have to say. So, let's make this short because this isn't actually a guide or anything like that. I did change my mind around, that's for sure. And only because you guys actually convinced me that there was more potential in the champion than I thought. So thanks a bunch for that, because of you guys I've been having a blast lately. And I wouldn't even be surprised if he was picked up for the role during the All-Stars or even the next LCS split. But hey, time will tell. I still say he's definitely better than Velka's support though. Anyway, that's pretty much what I had to say about the matter. Don't forget to check Valkyrie's channel out, by the way. He's an awesome dude with a lot of awesome content that you should definitely subscribe to. And, while we're at it, if you still haven't subscribed to my own channel, make sure you do so. If you want to get in touch with me, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and maybe Twitch, I guess. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.